Hey guys, welcome to Manifesting Better. I'm back with another video and another topic that needs to be addressed. I also have an Instagram account. The link for that is in the description box below. Coaching is also available. The link for that too is in the description box below. So, today's topic is what to actually expect while you are working on your self concept. What to actually expect with your self concept journey. I get this question a lot that I have started to finally work on my self concept but now that I'm working on my self concept things are even more difficult to me than they were before now I am getting more triggers I'm getting more resistance my circumstances are even getting like are getting worse now I don't know how to deal with it if I am working on my self concept why are my circumstances getting bad so let me clear some things about what to actually expect from your self concept journey and this is from my own personal experience and this doesn't mean that this will be your journey it can be different whenever i am talking or whenever i am making a video or a post on instagram i am sharing things from my own personal opinion or the people that i have worked with i have now worked with more than 4800 people my clients so if i am sharing anything i am sharing from my own personal experience and the personal experience of my clients take what resonates with you don't take what doesn't resonate with you but there are some things that you will actually see will be common because after you work with so many people you find out that some things are always common in the journey of self concept first thing to know is that because we have taken in so much content and there is so much content on the internet especially when it comes to Neville Goddard's content where he says this one thing that you don't have to lift a finger things will be effortless and this one line that we hear a lot is that if it isn't easy then you're doing it wrong i will be very honest to tell you that anyone who has actually manifested their specific person anyone who has manifested consistent money or worked on their self concept when they weren't coming from a good place can tell you that it wasn't easy at all i know that some for some people things can be easy but there are always going to be different topics that will be easier for some people and that would be difficult for some for example if i have had relationships in my life that have always been good for me manifesting a relationship might be easy but if i have had a past where i have faced financial issues maybe manifesting money for me would not be an easy thing at all so understanding that there will be different kind of people who will have different kind of things that will be easy for them to manifest is always going to be important because some things will be easy for you some things might not be easy for you so if it isn't easy if things are feeling difficult that doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing it wrong it's very important to not have super high expectations of it being a fun ride it can be very fun but it's not always manifesting and especially when you go deeper into things where resistance comes up it's very ugly sometimes it can make you feel a lot of your triggers it's not always comfortable it can make you feel like things aren't working out for you it can make you feel like you are leaving your comfort zone it can make you feel that you don't know what is going to happen and how are things going to happen because if i am working on my self concept and i'm stepping out of my comfort zone i'm stepping out of my comfortable hell right if i have been in a place where i feel comfortable and even if it is a hell for me it is still comfortable and often times and i read this statement somewhere often times we choose a comfortable hell over an uncomfortable heaven or an unknown heaven because we as people fear the unknown and if i'm stepping into the unknown it's totally natural that i don't understand what's going on if i move in a, to a different country and even though i wanted to move to a different country it's a very high probable chance that even if i have fulfilled my dream i still don't know how things work there similarly if i am finishing and fulfilling my dream of working on myself that doesn't mean that it's always going to be easy don't think that it's not rewarding it can be very rewarding but it can be tedious it can bring out your fears your trauma and make you feel like everything is falling apart we often have this misconception that once we started doing the work there will never be an opposite thought or i will never have resistance you don't even know how many clients i have when they start working on themselves they get some resistance and they start worrying about the fact that if i am getting some resistance that means i am doing something wrong 
but it's actually opposite of that the more work you do on yourself the more resistance actually comes up even more than before because your old identity is fighting to protect itself the old version of you which has been cemented through your thoughts through your actions through your boundaries through your perceptions is going to fight to protect itself because mind and body doesn't actually like change and when you do the work the resistance actually comes up too clear because we all have an identity and if we change that would mean that we will have to let go of the identity that we would have to kill the old man as neville goddard says and many a times it's not an easy death because we can easily feel abandoned and all alone it's very important to realize you're not alone and if it's so it's okay if it's difficult it's okay if there is resistance it's okay if you feel overwhelmed and it's okay if you feel that it's not going your way it's normal you're not doing any, anything wrong it's a marathon it's not usually a sprint but while working on it you also need to be prepared for the physical world because often times you will be faced with terrible circumstances now let me give you of some examples of some terrible circumstances uh, maybe you want to get married to a specific person and your parents are forcing you to marry someone else or maybe the person that you like got involved with a third party or maybe the job that you wanted someone else filled that position or maybe you were manifesting money and in the current moment you don't even have to make ends meet and you don't know how you will do it maybe you wanted a particular job but you got sick and you couldn't go to the interview many circumstances can actually come up that is that are going to be a little bit difficult and contrary to what we want the thing is many times we won't be able to do anything about that but in that current moment that doesn't mean that they cannot change it just means that till they do you might have to face them for a bit it means that sometimes our circumstances won't instantly change many times they do but sometimes they won't instantly change but having a bad circumstance doesn't make you a victim you can be a victim of a particular situation and still choose to not make yourself feel like one the most important thing is to not allow you to feel sorry for yourself when you are facing some particular circumstance i know it can be very difficult sometimes and i know it sucks but sometimes we don't have the liberty to break down sometimes we have to stand up regardless and sometimes we have to do what we have to do until we get to do what we want to do and this is a very powerful statement that i have always always hung on to maybe the current circumstance means that this person that you want is with someone else okay that doesn't mean that that cannot change till it changes provide yourself the feeling of love and comfort that you would get from that person maybe you don't have the exact job that you want okay till then prepare yourself for the job get your other things in order so that when you actually manifest that job it comes and you are actually able to handle it properly maybe you don't have finances right now that's fine maybe make the best of the current situation maybe first find out a way how you can pay your bills that doesn't make you a victim that makes you strong that makes you someone who is willing to face their circumstances and who doesn't have the liberty to run away and that brings out character in you because the character in you is the way and is the reason that you are able to deal with these things and these circumstances in front of your face maybe you uh, wanted a job but it went away to someone else okay that doesn't mean that you cannot get that job again it just means that prepare yourself for that job even better so that the next time the interview comes you are even more confident that that job will be yours nothing is the end till you decide it's the end and even if it is the end that doesn't mean the work will end once you get that job now you would want to do better at it once you get that person now you would want more maybe you would want that relationship to sustain maybe you would want to get married maybe you would want a child the work will not end what will matter is the character through which you face situations in front of your face what will matter more is the kind of resilience you show in face of circumstances when they are not going as per you want what will matter is how you persist regardless of the circumstances because you cannot persist based on convenience you have to persist based on your own mind and the end that you have in mind don't forget the end that you have in mind it is worth it for you
the end that you have in mind is worth it for you it is worth it for your situation that is why maybe what you are going through is preparing you to receive that end so that once you finally receive it it comes in a way that it doesn't go away again working on your self concept is a tedious journey sometimes it can be ugly it can be beautiful it will give you results but it doesn't mean that it will instantly give you results sometimes it takes time and working on your self concept is often a lifelong thing sometimes it takes extra time and that's fine that doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong it just means that you're on a journey that is not exactly going in the way that you decided that's fine you can handle it i believe in you you should believe in yourself too i will see you guys in the next video the next video i'm going to be talking about boundaries and it's coming up soon click the like button if you like the video subscribe and turn the notifications on for more such content comment down your video suggestions and i will see you guys in the next one